Hello everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday once again. I'm a couple minutes late because I forgot to print out today's PDF. So if you haven't yet, well, it's only been like a minute, but <laughs> go check my blog. There's a free PDF. Um, let me know if it's there. If you're watching the replay, it should be there already. We're doing three winter owl projects today, winter owls. Um, this one has been highly requested. Lots of people asking about this one. Um, I took kind of an informal poll a couple of weeks ago, and this one was like heavily requested. So um, I, it was definitely on my list. I couldn't wait to play with it. Um, it's a very unique, different kind of set. Um, and I ended up with a lot of projects to show you. I have some swaps, have some bonus projects, and then today's three projects, which I think you will like. Hello, it's good to see you guys jumping on. I hope you have had a great week. We have returned to summer here in South Texas <laughs> once again, but I think tomorrow we're gonna return to fall, maybe, we'll see. I don't know, we're having family pictures made on Sunday. Um, here, we're gonna do it on our front porch here at the new house, and I'm like, please let it be coolish. I mean, we've got sweaters. <laughs> you don't get to wear sweaters very often here, but hopefully, hopefully. All right, well, let's get started. Um, what do I wanna do? Let me show you this, because this is usually hard to show when I turn it around. This is this month's All-Star Tutorial Project. Um, the All-Star Tutorial PDF is a video class, basically 12 different video tutorials, all featuring the All About Autumn um, suite of products. And it's a, it's a PDF, and on, on each page, there's a link to a video. And so all 12 projects are designed by different demonstrators around the world. We're all around the world. And um, it's a really, really cool PDF every month. I, I get so excited to look through it. Um, just one of the projects are mine. The rest are done by different demonstrators. Um, mostly cards, some techniques, some 3D. Um, but this PDF is free if you spend over $50 with me. Now, if you shopped this week with me, during the sale, I haven't sent them out, but I will do that this afternoon. Um, I send it out, I'd say weekly, but usually it's about every 10 days now, um, to everyone who's ordered anything that's over $50. Um, so if you shop with me and you don't get it, just email me, because sometimes I have to manually, you know, go line by line on the orders, and sometimes I miss people, and sometimes it goes to spam, and sometimes it bounces. So if you're missing it, please let me know. If you didn't order from me and you would like it, it is available in my PDF store for $15. You can find my PDF store by clicking the link at the top of my blog, which is pinkbuckaroo.com. So this is my project this month, a stacked gift box set. All right, um, let's talk about the very cute class. Um, this class to go is ready to go, actually. Um, I have, if you, in case you guys haven't noticed, can you see all of this and all of this? And what you can't see down here are about 75 of those boxes. I have started packing the retreat to go. So if you order the retreat to go, I'm hoping to finish it Monday and get it out on Tuesday. Um, I'm waiting on one little special surprise to be delivered tomorrow and then I'll pack them all up, seal them up, get them all ready. But part of that was the very cute class. This class is now offered as a standalone class and I cut the kits already so they're actually already ready. If you've already ordered, yours will be shipping on Tuesday as well, which is much earlier than I had said. Um, but I still do have a handful of these class kits if you're interested. Um, it's six cards six multi-layered cards, a couple of fun folds, all featuring the Berry Cute Bundle. You get a whole pack of the Berry Christmas Designer Series paper, a bolt of ribbon, and a pack of embellishments, and then six cards. There's no video, it's just a PDF. Um, if you would like this class, there is a link on today's PDF, and at the bottom of my blog, you can email me, and if you are on my email list, it has gone out in every email I have sent out in this month, the registration link. Can't post it on Facebook or social or, or my blog, but I can email the link per the rules, okay? All right, it's a fun, you know, easy card class. Knock out some cards with your cute little berry cute bundle. Um, okay, and then the other thing is the Modern Garden Club Create Kit. Um, we have entered into 
the fun, um, what do we call it? Last chance list period. And that is <laughs> like six to seven weeks of time when the things that are leaving the holiday catalog at the very beginning of January all become while supplies last. So at any moment, any of those things could sell out and they're not coming back. I say that because I planned December's Club Crate using some of those products. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I know I was thinking I wanted to use that paper really badly. So if you want in on Club Create, do it sooner rather than later because I don't know when the stamp set's gonna sell out. I don't know when the paper's gonna sell out. I don't know when the ribbon's gonna sell out. Um, I'm ordering them as people have paid throughout Club throughout the month, ensuring that everybody who's paid is getting what they have paid for. Club Create is my reoccurring club. It's a subscription, it's $45 a month, it includes five projects, video and PDF, and usually around 20, between 20 and $25 of product. That also includes shipping. Um, so this class is gonna get a whole pack of paper. So you're gonna have a lot of paper to make these projects. And December's club actually has more than five projects. It has seven projects. Um, so if you would like to join Club Create for December, you have until December 7th to join. They will ship right before Christmas. They are not Christmas projects because you won't get them in time. Um, they will come, they are for your post-Christmas crafting when you're like, I'm sick of Christmas, get out of here. Let's do something else. That's what this is for. Um, so deadline for this is the 7th. But again, if you are already part of Club Create, you are good, you don't have to worry about it. But if you are not a subscriber and you would like to join, make sure you do it sooner rather than later because I don't know when things are gonna sell out and I may have to turn off subscriptions for the rest of the month if that happens. So anyways, that's that. Link at the top of my blog, Club Create. Okay, let's turn things around and I'm gonna talk to you about the last chance list and I'm gonna show you a little sneaky peek of my pre-order from the upcoming spring and celebration catalog let me see i have a new i have a new case on my phone that is like really big and i'm struggling to get it to fit into my holders okay hold on i lost my feed for just a sec let me see if i can go back so i can see what we're doing what we're looking at okay let me put this here so i can see um so the last chance list has come out you guys i have not even looked at it that's how busy i have been and i have not shared it but today after the video after this i will update with the links of the last chance list last chance means these are the things that are leaving our holiday mini catalog at the end of the catalog period they will not appear online or in any other catalog they're they're leaving um it officially doesn't start until November 20th. That's when you're gonna have some discounted prices on those things, but things are already selling out. The Oh Holy Night paper is sold out, it's gone. Um, the Shining Brightly designer series paper, sold out, gone. So, you know, if you wait for the sale price, you run the risk of it selling out. Who knows? I mean, it feels like, you know, we're at Vegas or something, rolling rolling the dice. But that's that's the way it goes at the end of the catalog period. I will share this with you. There's also a list of what they call carryover items. These items will either appear in the next catalog or will be like online exclusives. So like the So Sincere Clean stamp set. That won't be in a catalog, but it'll still be available. Or it will be in the next catalog. Either that way, either it's in... It's very confusing. It'll either be in the spring catalog or it'll be available online. Um, Marius Trees dies carrying over. One thing I do want to point out is that if it says something like right here, it says Marius Trees bundle, that means the bundle price is retiring. You know, when you buy something at a bundle, you save 10%. So the Marius Trees, I'm guessing, will carry over into the next annual catalog but it's not gonna be bundled to save 10%. So that's why there's those three little asterisks right there when you look at it. The bundle, the discounted price is retiring, but the stamps and the dies will be sold by themselves separately in either future publication or online. Okay, that's that. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that because we're not really there yet. But I do wanna show you guys some things that I got. So. We attended, there was an online demonstrator event called On Stage, 
we usually have these in person, but um, this year it was online, and this was last weekend. And if you attend the online um, event, if you attend the on-stage event, you get early access to the next catalog, which is the spring catalog, which comes out in January, and celebration catalog, which also comes out in January. I don't have the actual catalogs yet. I only got to see them as a PDF, but I did get to order some things from them. So I thought I would show you. Now these guys are not available until January, but so many of you are either demonstrators or you're thinking about buying the starter kit. If you buy the starter kit in December, you can buy these things in December, okay? That's how that goes. All right, some of this is celebration, which you know you get free with a $50 purchase or a $100 purchase. And some of them are spring catalog. And I don't know a lot of them, I don't know which is which, <laughs> unless it says. So if I make a mistake, I'm sorry. I have been very busy and have not memorized the catalogs, okay? All right, trusty tools. I do know, where are the dies? Trusty tools, look you guys, this is one of my favorites. Trusty tools, stamps, and dies. Look at all of the dies, a little pegboard. I mean, so cute. A little like handle for a toolbox. You know I'm gonna make a 3D toolbox. And then there is celebration paper that goes along with it. So if you buy the bundle, this is one of the things that you can buy for free. Look, I love this right here. Measuring tape, so cute. All right, so very, very cute. Love it, grid, I'm gonna use the heck out of that. Love it. All right, I'm gonna go through this pretty quick, okay? Because we got a lot of things to do. Here's another stamp set, Planted Paradise. It's one of those where you can turn it. Stamp one side, you get the details. Turn the stamp over, stamp the in the back and you get the solid image. This you might've already seen. Be My Valentine was something we had early, early access to. It comes with um, the punch. You get the punch and the Valentine B. And then of course, the gorgeous paper. I usually do a valentine class oh my gosh i usually i haven't even looked at it, you guys just now is the first time um i used to do a valentine class so hopefully we'll do one this year too all right so there's that here is lovely and sweet this is interesting an interesting set the samples are really pretty and it has some matching paper that's um like gold on one side, it's that shimmery on one side. Look at that with a gold flex of like paint. And then um, some gold kind of foil, foily paper. This is called specialty paper when it has that foil. I, I do love these papers, these are gorgeous. Oh, more, more like notebook paper. I love notebook and grid paper. Okay, so there's that. Um, Notes of Nature. This is a really good, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, shabby, what do we call it? Um, you know, like vintage kind of set. And this is like a notebook edge. Really, really, really cool. Um, I think this also goes with that other paper. Aren't they in the same like suite? But there's this gold, um, what are they calling it? Faux leather trim. That is, I, I'm really interested to see what this looks like. Um, it's very thin. I thought it was gonna be thick and hard to kind of maneuver, but it's not. It's very thin and it's really, really pretty. So all of that kind of goes together. All right, um, perennial postage. A really good sentiment set but look at the dies that come with it like big postage stamp dies look like a little stamped um you know like a stamp on a, on a letter and then these are pretty you're simply marvelous happy mother's day we're always looking for those in may um okay hot air balloon hot air balloon shabby chic is that the word i'm looking for i think it is shabby chic yeah um, hot air balloon, I love. But what I love even more about this is that it has this adorable paper. Look at this, it's six by six. Look at the stripes and the soft colors. This will be great for like babies and kid projects, but also just beautiful soft colors for the spring. Really, 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 really pretty. Okay, so hot air balloons, and it has coordinating baker's twine. Hallelujah, I love it. 
and it's thin baker's twine. Look at that cute. Oh my gosh. How am I going to decide what we're going to do for club in January when I have all of these gorgeous things to choose from? Um, okay. Softly sophisticated. Now that's a celebration stamp. It comes with something, doesn't it? An embossing folder. <laughs> I told you guys, I don't know. Uh, this right here. I think this is a hundred dollar option in the celebration catalog. You get free with a hundred dollars. Um, really pretty and a really cool embossing folder. Um, watercolor melon. This is really cute. It matches the modern oval punch, which is what we're using for club in December. You, it punches that and then you turn it and also punch out the bottom, you know, like a half of the watermelon. Um, so that's celebration for you with a 50. This is layered florals, 3D embossing folder. This goes with some of this and I don't know which part of it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. I just was like, click, click, click. Yes. Order, order, order. Um, this is real cute. Look, doggone friendly background stamp. I don't see a schnauzer. I see a border collie. That looks, I don't know. That might be a border collie too, or maybe a, a corgi. That looks like a what are those big big dogs called? Um, Great Dane. Anyway, real cute little wiener dog. Come on, where's our little bearded fellows? I don't see them. They're not here at Basset Helm. Anyhow, it's very cute. It's a big background stamp. Um, this ribbon right here goes with the Valentine stuff that I already showed you. It reminds me of some ribbon we had a long time ago. Poppy Parade ribbon. And it's thin. I like it. Um, painted lavender. Now this is gorgeous. You guys, you got to see this painted lavender. So stamps and dies, but look at this amazing paper that goes with it. It's like crumb cake and purples. It's gorgeous. Now I am not a big like purple person, but I love this. This is stunning. Oh, look a gingham. Yes, love it. Very, very pretty. Okay, so lavender and then, um, oh, the ice cream swirl. Come on, give me a break. Look at this. This little die folds in half to make like a tag. I mean, so cute. Look, it's got donuts and strawberries and cherries. Oh yeah, you know, you know I'm gonna come up with some fun things for that. Now I have these papers in here. <laughs> and I'm like feeling like I'm missing something. What goes, what goes with this? I don't know. Did I not order all of it? All of the things? Maybe this goes with, um, hmm. Somebody's going to say, somebody knows. Somebody has had time to study the catalog. Maybe I don't have the stamp set that goes with that. Or maybe it's part, I don't know. Who knows? Who can tell us? This is celebration paper, isn't it? I think maybe not is it is a celebration I don't have the catalogs yet yeah it is it is um, and then there's one other paper I want to show you this one's really pretty and I know there's a stamp set that goes with this but I don't have it flight and airy the stippled roses bundle Patricia were we able to order that maybe I just didn't order it the birds the little birds this is very springy and cute um Funny music playing. You can hear music. Who can hear, who else can hear? Lois, please tell me. It's not something really weird. I don't hear any music. Anyways, there we go. That's all my pre-order. Oh wait, no, there's a couple more things. Um, these little boxes, they're pillow boxes. And then we've got the purple gems to go with the, um, lavender stuff. We've got the little cork dots. I love the cork dots. Um, these go with the Valentine stuff, I believe, hearts and flowers. And then these, um, the little paper butterfly accents pop out. You don't have to die cut them. Oh, and then look at this tiny little alphabet die set. Very cute. Okay, so hopefully in the next few weeks, I will have some time to play with my new goodies. I've got to get through... Um, a retreat, got to get that out, got to get club design for January, which is new goodies, so that's fun. I can play with new goodies for that. Um, 
yeah, if you're having problems with the feed, the best thing to do is close out Facebook and come back. Like completely, you know, like swipe up, close the app. Because, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? No tech issues here. Good. Okay, so you guys, let's get started with Facebook Friday. I did that pretty fast. Um, this week we're using the Winter Owls. And the Winter Owls, like I said at the beginning, has been a very popular, highly requested set. Many of you have asked for me to do something with this. And I've actually been playing with it for, um, we used it in New Color Club uh, last month, I think. And I did a swap with it. I've done all kinds of things with it. We just haven't done it for Facebook Friday. So um, make sure you jump over to my blog where there is a free PDF that'll have today's projects, <clears throat> measurements, and supply lists. And then the three things that I talked about at the beginning. Um, and then also, if you like today's projects, if you like today's project, you can get them for free. They look like this. They come in a little project kit. You will need the stamps and the die. And I'm using one embossing folder today that you will also need. Um, or use what you have. You can always use the pieces for something else, you know. Um, you can order anything you want. And if you ordered this week during the sale and use the host code, I will send them to you also. Free with a $35 order. Um, if your order is under $150, always use the host code. If it's over $150, don't use the host code because then you get stamp and rewards. And I will still send you the projects for free, okay? And they're going to be later than normal. Usually I cut them on Tuesday, ship them on Wednesday. But next week is Thanksgiving and my oldest daughter will be home. I'm going to take some time off. So I'm going to get, they probably won't go out until the following weekend, Okay. Just so you guys know, be patient. Plus, we're in the holiday shipping time. You know what that means. It's going to be crazy town. All right. The other part of this is if you would share the video either on Facebook or YouTube, let me know in the comments that you shared. I will pick a winner at random next week to win a prize, which I didn't even pull out. I have, I have a bundle from the holiday catalog, and I'll give it away next week. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. Uh, last week's winner is Linda Miller. Linda, I have a Linda Miller in my contacts. I don't know if that's you. It's a pretty common name. So message me, okay? Linda Miller on YouTube. I picked Linda's name off of YouTube this time. Um, so she is winning the Merry and Bright bundle. Thanks, Linda, for sharing. I appreciate that. Okay, jokey. I think we are ready to go. You guys, I love today's projects. I mean, I love them and I think you're gonna love them too tell me in the comments if you have this bundle and tell me also in the comments if you hold on things are flying around I have my fan on high tell me if you want this bundle this bundle is I believe let's double check on the last chance list right guys let me just scan it. Yep, Winter Owls going away. The dies and the stamp set. Um, and it looks like they will not be on sale. I always feel like if they're not marked down during the last chance list, then that means they don't have an... Now, this is just me guessing, you guys, okay? <laughs> don't take this as word from authority. But in my mind, I think, you know, if they didn't mark it down, that means that they don't have an overabundance of it. Right? When the, I mean, because you would only mark down the things that you feel like, oh, I gotta mark this down because we have a lot of it. I don't know. That's just what my gut tells me. So I would, if you want this, I would not sit on it for a long time. I would, I would order it pretty quickly. Things are selling out and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's stressful for me. Okay. Um, our first card is pretty easy. It is not a Christmas card. It's just a normal everyday card. And it's got several techniques. We're going to do several techniques. But I really do feel like it's an easy card, even though it has techniques. And I think anybody can make this card. Um, we're starting out with a Berry Burst card base and Misty Moonlight background. Don't you love those colors together? I thought they were really cool. All right, the very first thing that we need to do is put our owl together. Now, this bundle has three ways, actually four ways to do an owl. You've got three different stamped owls, 
okay? And then you've got what we're gonna do right now is paper piecing. And I've got this one right here, which I've cut out in basic white. And then the silver, um, these two um, wings um, from silver foil. Now, if you're a Harry Potter fan, I've seen some samples where they're turning this into a Quidditch. Is that what it was called, guys? I have done all the Harry Potter things, read the books, watched movies, but I can't remember, right? The little ball. So if you like Harry Potter, you can make that the Quidditch ball. Is that, is that right, what it's called? Then you can use those to make that, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so let's put our owl together. Um, I have cut him from basic white, and I'm going to get all the little things out. Do I have my dye brush? I do, but what I don't have is my little... Um, the little thing that comes with it, the mat, but that's okay. We'll get it to work. All right, get all the little doodads out. Now we've got two wings, and what we're gonna do is cut the wings because they're too big, right, to go there. So I'm gonna take my wings, and I'm gonna cut them in about half. And one thing that you can do, um, which I did not do, is that you can cut this guy out of an adhesive sheet. That might be a little bit easier with what we're getting ready to do. I don't know, I didn't do that, um, but you could. We're gonna use liquid glue and we're gonna take these pieces that we just cut off and we're gonna adhere them right behind like that, okay? I'm gonna cut off a little bit at the bottom like that. And I'm just gonna use good old Tombow liquid glue. Um, now, you guys, before I forget, um, Stampin' Up! is not going to have a big Black Friday sale. That was this week. That was a seasonal sale. Um, but I am going to do a special on Friday, um, both for ordering from Stampin' Up! and from my PDF store. I'm going to have a PDF store Black Friday sale. So be on the lookout for that. I'll send out information um, for that, it'll go all weekend, the offer, so you don't have to feel rushed. Um, and that last chance list, the discounts that are on that list start on the 20th, which is Monday, right? You guys correct me, Monday? Yeah. Okay, so see how I put the silver um, edge on his wings? Gorgeous, right? All right, so I did that first so it could sit there and dry. Now, we're gonna do our background. I know someone will tell me the golden snitch. The game was called Quidditch. Is that right? Carla gets the award for being the first one to tell me the golden snitch. Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I mean, I'm not a big like Harry Potter person, but I did listen to all of them on audiobook a couple of years ago and I loved them. They were so good. I think that was during the pandemic. All right. I'm going to take this image, which is it's either a branch or a tree, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think maybe it's a branch. Um, and I'm gonna stamp it in Misty Moonlight. Um, we're gonna do it two times like this in full strength. Okay, and then I'm gonna stamp off and just do it real light kind of here in the middle like this. Okay, and I kind of left some space there. So let me add a little bit there. I mean, you know, just go for it. There's no right or wrong. Now we're gonna emboss it after we've stamped it. Have you ever done this before? Where did my cut and emboss machine go? It's right here, it's hidden behind my iPad. Um, I forget to do this and it's a really fun thing to stamp first and then emboss on top of your stamped images. It just really adds something different to your projects. Now it's important when you put this in your embossing folder that you put it so that the, the raised edges are gonna come up this way, right? We want them to come up. So in order to do that, you want the Stampin' Up! logo facing up and your stamped images facing up. And then you can line that up with that line like that, okay? Um, and then we just put plate four on top of plate one. The audiobooks were very good, Nancy. Yes, yes, so good. Um, they were very good. And then, there you have it. So it looks like it's snowing on top of the trees. Isn't that a neat effect? I think it's really kind of cool. Something that I don't think about doing 
enough. Okay, now I'm gonna bring back over my grid paper. Where's my clean grid paper that I just had in my hand? Right here. I'm gonna turn it over. We're gonna use some white craft ink and a small blending brush to add just a little bit of snow to our project. And I wanna run it off on my um, grid paper first because I don't want it to be real heavy. I want it to just be light. And it's gonna make those um, snowflakes and snow dots really pop up and it's gonna make those trees even lighter than they were. They're gonna kind of fall back into the background. Okay. There we go. Now, if you want, uh-oh, don't stick your finger in the ink. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can, we'll, we'll add some, we'll add some stars there in a little while to hide that. My white ink pad, I don't know about you guys, is always just leaking juicy ink all, <laughs> all over me. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's close this. I actually cleaned it off. See, it always gets just a little bit of white. Let me grab my towel real quick. It always gets just a little bit of white on the outside and then it's on me and it's... You guys, I spilled a glass of water today twice on my work area. Making tags for Club Create, spilled it twice on... I had to redo several tags twice. I don't know, it was a bad day. It was a, it was a new cup. I think maybe the cup was wobbly. We'll blame the cup. Um, don't you hate that? Like, do not put your glass near your project. I mean, how many years of experience is it going to take for me to not do that? Have you guys ever done that? Ugh. All right, now this is um, boho blue. I'm using boho blue and a dauber. And I'm going to really tap off because I don't want it to be very dark. And I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of texture to this white stylish shape circle one of the smaller ones and I've got a berry burst um, strip of cardstock and we're gonna stamp the sentiment in verse mark sending love now you could change this sentiment to whatever thinking of you would be a good one mm, I know you guys can't see that so I'm gonna turn it over because it wasn't very good um, Typically, you guys, you should stamp and then cut your strip. That's not even very good either um, because it's hard with the red rubber to get it in the right place. But I was trying to, that's not too bad. I was trying to, you know, do some things ahead of time. All right, now my reverse tweezers are on the other tray, I believe. Let me grab them. Somewhere, somewhere. Well, maybe they're not. Did I leave them over here last time? All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna burn my fingers. That's all right. Just kidding, I'm not really gonna burn my fingers. I'm more of an expert, I can handle it. So white embossing powder and hit it with a heat tool until it's bright white. Okay, and then I've got my banner punch, pick a banner, pick, I, what, I don't know. Did I, I didn't put this on the supply list either. I can never remember the name. Pick a punch, banner pick a punch, something like that. All right, we are ready to put this all together. We've got all of our pieces. I think I did forget to put that on the list. Um, you guys, Amory and Terry, I saw that you're both on here. You'll be happy to know, you guys, this event that we did on stage, um, we got a swag box from Stampin' Up! that had some fun little, just fun things in it. And one of the things in it was a puzzle. And I was really excited about the puzzle. And my husband and I did the puzzle last night and we got it done all in one night. We, we were very proud of ourselves. Uh, yes, it's only 500 pieces, but we were pretty darn proud of ourselves. <laughs> um, it was a cute little puzzle. 
It was a little tricky, I will say. You guys, we're gonna put the moon here. If you want, you can take your white, which I've already closed, and you can kind of do like a, you know, like a little halo right there to go around the moon. I didn't have enough ink on my blending brush to do that, and I'm being too lazy, and I don't wanna open it again, so we're just gonna put that there. But you can do that if you want. And then put your dimensional on your owl. What in the world? <sighs> okay. We need to get a new dimensional. That one is just being really weird. Put it right there. There's a perfect spot right there that it'll fit so you don't see it. And we're gonna put this guy up here like that. All right, we're almost done. Let's get our card base. And I've got two pieces of basic white. We're gonna mat, I think they're both the same size, yeah. We're gonna mat this one on a piece of basic white for the front, and then we're gonna stamp the one to go on the inside, okay? Um, a sippy cup. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know why I was using the glass I was using. It's a stemless wine cup glass. I like those, just, I'm not drinking wine, I'm just drinking water, but I like those. But man, they're not very sturdy. Not very sturdy at all. I should know better. I tell you, the Diet Cokes don't tip over as easily. I should have been drinking a Diet Coke, I guess. That's what I get for drinking water. Um, <laughs> Simply Elegant Trim, little, little silver bow. And we'll put this on with a glue dot. We're gonna use the uh, enamel effects again. How many weeks in a row now have I used enamel effects? I'm in love with enamel effects. If you're getting the retreat box to go, I think you're gonna be in love with enamel effects too. It's just a little hint, but I'm not gonna tell you anymore. You gotta wait and see. All right, for the inside, you guys, just keep it real simple. Take your tree and stamp, and then maybe another one, like a little light one. And then that cool little moon, you can put that up there at the top like that. Both of those are misty moonlight. And then we will put this on the inside of our card. And we're gonna add some of those crystal, I mean, crystal effects, enamel effects. And you know what, I've done it two different ways. Um, this one has the silver and this one has, I think the white, I think that's the difference here, yeah. I think I like the white better. And I'm gonna make that just a, like a little Hershey kiss, pull it up, straight up, and it'll flatten into a circle. Let's cover this little, little smudge I have over here. And you just wanna add a few. Now, I tell you guys this, every time we use enamel effects, this stuff does not dry fast, you're gonna wanna give it at least like 30 minutes, maybe more, and don't just set it on the side of your desk because Every time, every time I do that, I set something on top of it, every time. So take it and go put it on the other side of the room, put it in your window seal. That's what I like to do is put it up in my window seal. And there you go. Look, I have a set now, sending love. What do you guys think? A little bit different color scheme than what you might have seen already online. I love this card, I love it. All right, good, I'm glad you like it. Let me walk this one over here. I'm gonna put it over here on this side. And I've got a Diet Coke waiting for me over here. Okay, let's clean up. And the next card, thanks guys, I'm glad you like it. The next card is a fun fold, and I'm calling it a double gate fun fold. I don't know if that's the right name. I never know the right names for these fun folds. But I just made that one up in my head. Maybe it's right. That's where I came up with it. Or maybe I just created it. I don't know. But this is one I made way back in August when I first got my um, all my products from the new catalog. And the little owl. The, the coolest um, die in the set is this tree trunk. Really cool. And I'll show you why in a little while. But it has a belly band, slides off, and then opens like that. And the sentiment says, may you have time to enjoy the quiet moments of this season. 
So not necessarily a Christmas card. It doesn't say Merry Christmas, but it definitely could be, right? The paper is the Joy of Christmas designer series paper. And it's the paper I used for the retreat to go. I love this paper. I cannot get enough of this paper. All right, let's make, let me get all the goodies. I always have the paper buried under everything. I should wait and put the paper on the top of all the things. I never do. All right, let me grab my Simply Scored. And this card is going to require a full sheet of pecan pie. Usually you can get two card bases out of one sheet of cardstock, but this one you can only get one. Um, you're going to cut it so that it is five and a half by 11. So it means you're going to have a strip like this left over, but that strip you're going to use for the belly band and to cut out the trunk and the other part that we're going to put behind it. So not, not wasted paper. All right, we're gonna score it on the long side. And remember, these measurements are right here on the PDF. You can print them out for free from my blog or save them, whatever you wanna do. All right, one and a fourth and three and three eighths. Three eighths is three little tick marks past the three. And then seven and five eighths and five eighths is five little tick marks or one past the half. And then nine and three fourths, right here, okay? You guys, my oldest is coming home from college. She's on her way, but she's gonna come home this morning, but she has a new little boyfriend who lives between here and there. And she said, oh, I think I'm gonna stop at his house and his lake house. He has a lake, I'm like, oh, okay. She was gonna be here at two and then it's turning into five, six. I'm like, girl, we haven't seen you in six weeks. Come home already. Oh, to be young and free. Remember those days, you guys? You remember? Long time ago. Long, long time ago. <laughs> I get it. Okay, folding in these two in, right? And then these two fold out. And I noticed on my sample, when I was uploading the pictures last night, that one of my music papers was upside down. So make sure <laughs> your papers are right side up. Now look at the back here. It's very hard, very hard for me to glue this down. But I love music notes too, so. I'm willing to sacrifice this adorable gingham red on the back side for the music notes. All right, so put that there. And then on the front flaps here, we are going to put two strips. Now, wait a minute. I have three strips here. One is skinnier than the other two, so I gotta make sure I get the right ones. This one goes here. And this one goes here. On the other side is just kind of a splattery red. All coordinates. Joy of Christmas designer series paper. Um, and then on the inside, I've got a piece of basic white and a piece of garden green. Now the sentiment we're using, I'm gonna stamp it in early espresso. And I noticed yesterday that my early espresso ink pad was very dry. So I went to pull out my ink refill, and guess what? It too is dry. And I had just posted, if you saw my post yesterday, just posted that you need to take inventory of your refills, they're on sale. And I, I didn't even take my own advice. So now I have to order an early espresso ink pad. Okay, this one looks like it's a little bit too wide, so let's cut it off a little bit. Um, there, it's the worst feeling when one of your ink pads that you want to use is a little bit dry and you go to put ink in it and what do you know? You have a dry ink refill. It's very frustrating. I don't like it. All right, and then we're gonna put, we're gonna carry over this um, pattern on the inside, okay? I'm going to trim that off, that little guy that's hanging over the edge, and we're going to put this on the inside. Okay, now we need a belly band. 
And a belly band is just a strip of cardstock you're gonna wrap around and it's gonna slide up and down on your card. It's gonna hold the card closed and you just wrap it around, really just wrap it around. You don't want it to be too tight because then it's hard to slide, but whoops, and you don't wanna get adhesive on your card base. Just adhere it to itself, end over end, like that. Okay, so it will slide like that. And then I have some pecan pie ribbon. Also, I wanted to point out this ribbon would be a good choice too. This is our new online exclusive um, center stripe ribbon. So, I don't know, I made this card before we even had that ribbon. So I, um, okay, which way is down? So I pulled it out because I thought, man, that would be a good choice too. Now this ribbon is kind of thick and I didn't want to bulk up my card too much, so I'm just gonna do a knot. I don't do knots very often. I like to do bows, but this ribbon I really felt like needed to just be a knot. Okay, so tie the ribbon just around the belly band. And we're gonna cut it at an angle like that. Whoops, there we go. Okay, now let's get to the fun part. Not that that's not fun, <laughs> but this other part is even more fun. All right, you're gonna need a stylus shape white banner, but again, stamp first, cut second, because it's hard to get these straight because you can't see through them. We're gonna stamp our owl in pecan pie on basic white. You're gonna also need a, we're gonna use the die to cut that out, okay? Whoa. Um, this is this bird right here. We got that one. And then we're gonna use early espresso for these two branches. Okay. And then the trunk out of this. The other piece that I've cut out ahead of time is one of our nested essential dies. And it um, is the second largest. Not the largest, but the second largest. Now, are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? I mean, it just gets here before we know it, doesn't it? I made my grocery list this morning, trying out a new recipe. Do you guys watch the Today Show? Um, Craig Melvin is one of the Today Show co-hosts and he's his mother's mac and cheese recipe is in Southern Living this month. So I thought, you know, that's probably a good one to try. So we're gonna try that. And then I'm gonna do the old standbys. I shared the recipes last year with you. My grandmother's corn casserole, and then our sweet potato casserole. Those are my two favorites. The sweet potato casserole, I think, is everybody's favorite. It's pretty much like a dessert. What are you guys making? Are you, are you cooking it all? Are you cooking a little bit? Do you have help? My mom and I split the, we split the, um, the duties, which makes it easy. And a lot of it you can do ahead of time. All of my things pretty much can be done ahead of time. Has anybody made Craig Melvin's mother's mac and cheese recipe? You don't have to buy the magazine. I thought I was gonna have to go buy the magazine, but I Googled it and it's on their website. So it has um, three types of cheese, evaporated milk and a lot of butter. Oh, and it also has eggs in it, which was interesting. We'll see. You know, my girls are so used to craft mac and cheese that they usually turn their noses up to fancy mac and cheese. <laughs> they want the blue box. I mean, there's, I, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with blue box. I like it, but I'm going to try to fancy it up for Thanksgiving. We'll see. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, do you guys have a recipe that you cook the same, you know, every year? Um, uh, Nicole says, we host Thanksgiving, and while they say I help, have help, do I really? I know, Nicole, sometimes I'm like, just get out and let me do it, right? Please don't come help me, <laughs> especially with the kids. Please don't come help me. Just let me get it done. I know my daughter, my oldest daughter is starting to want to learn to cook, and so I'm, you know, I'm trying to be patient, but then I'm also like, this is taking twice as long as if, you know, if I wasn't doing it myself. Ooh, Linda, squash casserole. That sounds good. All right, um, again, our tree slash branch. I'm gonna stamp it around the edge. You're really only gonna see um, the edges of 
this piece and I am stamping off, giving it some light and dark edges. So we have light and dark. Okay. I'm in the hubs cooking and have roast mac and cheese, collard greens, cornbread dressing, yams, rolls, and cranberry. My husband loves the cranberry jello salad, you know, the has like the fruit in it. That's what he remembers from his childhood. So we always make sure we have that too. Um, look at this. I wanted to point this out to you guys, the tree trunk. It it embosses and it also cuts like some slits. So it has some detail in it, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and I, when I first got it, I'm like, which way is up and which way is down? I think that's down. I think this is up, right? Cause it has like a little point at the top of the circle, but I don't think you'd be wrong if you did it the other way. I think it would work just fine. Uh, really? Okay. Linda, do you have a recipe to share? If it's a teenager's favorite, she says that squash casseroles are teenage grandson's favorite, then it must be good because teenagers are picky. At least mine are. My youngest, you guys, is, I'll share it again, Nina. Yes, I'll share both of them again. My youngest, you guys, she's a freshman and she is out of town. She's traveling with a varsity basketball team for three days she's gone. It's very weird how we just went from, you know, like, Middle school to boom, traveling, high school, basketball. It's crazy. It's very strange. Speaking of teenagers, I don't know, it just reminded me. Like, she wasn't home last night. We didn't have to pick her up. It was very weird. Um, they grow up so fast. Why does that happen? <laughs> There's a, a video in my Facebook memories today. It always comes up today, and it's of my two youngest when they were in preschool together singing this Thanksgiving song at preschool at their little Thanksgiving feast. And at the very end, my littlest one, I say, when they're done singing, I say, say happy Thanksgiving. And she says, happy wolf day. Cause it was just her birthday. And that's how she said birthday. And she says, happy wolf day. I'm like, oh my gosh, why? Why did it go by so fast, you guys? I like Facebook memories when they pop up like that. They just, they grow up so fast. I mean, they, they warn you, right? When they're little and you're like, ugh. Quit telling me that. And then you get here and you're like, oh, what happened? All right, so I ad adhered. Is that a word? Adhered? I adhered. Let's say attached. I attached my, my limbs to the tree. So it's kind of hiding our, our um, owl, right? Really pretty. And then we've got the little stylish shape. And we're going to attempt to stamp this in a straight manner, warm wishes, let's see. Straight up and down, boop. Hey, all right, all right, I did it. And then we're just gonna put this on top and if you take your dimensionals and stick them on top of your branches, that gives them another layer of security. And then put that right there. And then last but not least, we're going to attach it just to our belly band. Thanks, I'm glad you guys like it. I know, Lois, I know. It just, it just goes by and it's cruel, right? They, you know that saying, the days are long, but the years are short. Man, I really feel that because when mine were little, when my two were little, little at the same time, that was a rough, rough time. I was working full time. Nobody was sleeping. It was hard. It was easy to wish it away then. <sighs> Anyways, you guys, here we go. Card number two. What do you think? Um, double gate, double gatefold. What do you think? You think that's the name? Does it have a different name? Um, I like it. It's an easy, fun fold. I think it has pretty big wow factors too. All right, we are good to go on that one. I've got one more, and the next one is my Harry Potter inspired project. I know some of you really wanted me to do something Harry Potter inspired. Hold on, let me get all this cleaned up. And this is what I came up with, okay? I think it's my favorite. I think it's my favorite project today. I told you guys I looked on Amazon for Harry Potter candy and there are several Harry Potter candies that you can find all the time, that chocolate frog, um, there's some little, the little jelly bean package. 
But then these Hershey ch milk chocolate bars popped up. And you can order them like, you know, six pack of Hershey's. And they just have different um, Harry Potter things on them. So I ordered them. The, there was one that was a single and it had the owl on it, but it was, it was expensive to buy it by itself. So I bought the package and none of them had the owl on it. But I thought, eh, it's okay, it's still the same thing. And so I made this chocolate slider like this. And it comes out, I used the Traditions of St. Nick designer series paper. And there's our little snowy white owl. And I, I'm like, okay, we need a sentiment that says magic. So I found this one from Shop the Town. Christmas magic is in the air, right? I mean, that goes pretty good. And then the red and the gold, like their robes, like their, you know, their um, striped, whatever you call them, the things that go around the scarf. <laughs> so Harry Potter inspired, yet not solely specifically Harry Potter, right? Okay, so you can, oh no, oh no, hold on, hold on. One just fell off. So you can make it with that paper you can use this paper too these are both from the traditions of saint nick you can also turn this into a card now i have a card that i made exactly like this but i'm not going to show you until the end let's do this one first okay i also use <laughs> something on this project can you spot it that is retired I pulled it out i thought oh these will go perfect i added it took pictures then i realized wait a minute those gold leaves are no longer anywhere. They're not in the catalog, they're not online. Sorry, if you have a gold foil paper and a leaf die, you can add gold leaves. If you're getting the Facebook Friday Project Kit, I have a lot of these and I'll be sending you some to make yours. Okay, let's make our, um, let's make our wreath first. Funny story, couldn't find my um, country wreath dies. And so I thought, what can I use instead? How about the deckled circle dies? And Anne-Marie sent me a really cute uh, project she saw online where they, she used them to make donuts. Look, I mean, you don't want a green donut, but look, doesn't that look like a donut if it was different colors? Anyways, I made it a wreath. And um, I'll, let me tell you, they're like, 300 circle dies in that die set. There's a lot of them. So I'm going to tell you exactly which ones I use. That is an exaggeration. There's not 300, but there's a lot. Um, the biggest one is three and a half. Okay. Then the next biggest one is right about three. And then I'm going to take this one. So you use the, the biggest and the smallest together. And then the two that are closest together. That even made sense. This one is like two and an eighth okay and then this one is one and three fourths All right so cut your little donuts aka christmas wreath okay and then um we're gonna add some texture to it again with this i don't know if it's a branch i don't know if it's a tree whatever we're using it uh, mossy meadow cardstock mossy meadow ink and i'm just whoa i'm just gonna go around like this and now it's gonna look kind of like a evergreen an evergreen um wreath you guys i went to hobby lobby yesterday i need some new things for my house for christmas we have a, a fireplace which we did not have in our old house i needed you know, like some greenery for the mantle. We have a huge staircase that I wanted to buy some greenery for. And I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday, middle of the day, it was packed, wall to wall people. I guess everybody is already doing their Christmas shopping. I was irritated because Hobby Lobby during the middle of the day is usually not packed. It was like a Saturday, worst case scenario, Saturday. TJ Maxx, forget it, has been wall to wall people for months, but Hobby Lobby, I'm like, gosh, there's no good time to shop anymore. This just reminded me of that, the greenery. They had a lot of greenery left, but some of their aisles were already empty. I'm like, guys, it's not even Thanksgiving. All right, take your <laughs> blending brush and go around the edge. Add just a little bit of darkness. 
to the inside and outside edges. And the reason I decided to do this is because we're layering this onto some Mossy Meadow colored designer series paper. And I didn't want it to just blend in. I wanted it to kind of pop off a little bit. So if we add dark to the edges, that will do it for us, okay? All right, I'm gonna set these aside to dry because if I try to adhere them right now, that's a lot of ink and it's not gonna stick. Um, I cut out a vellum deckled edge circle. The first time I did it with the same size die as this one, but I couldn't get the edges to match because the edges are all different. So I thought, okay, I mean, I sat there and like turn, 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 turn. I couldn't get, <laughs> couldn't get it to match. I'm like, forget it. So I got the next smaller one and cut out a vellum circle for the back. It's just a little bit easier so you don't have to stand there trying to match those very small deckled edges. Okay, all right, so we've got that. Now let's do our snowy owl and we're gonna do him. This is a little bit different than the previous owl. He's got his feathers sticking out the back. He's not really like turned all the way around. Mary, you went today at one o'clock and it was packed. I was thinking the same thing. There were a lot of kids there too. Um, she says, don't people work? I know I'm thinking the same thing, but I guess we were taking a break from work too, right? You, you, me, her, <laughs> everybody's thinking the same thing. Um, I stamped this in Smoky Slate. You know, TJ Maxx is my, like, love. I love TJ Maxx. I, I love nothing better than to pop in my headphones and just wander around TJ Maxx. But it has become so stressful to shop at our TJ Maxx. We have a Home Goods attached to TJ Maxx, and it's really, really big, and it's really, really awesome. But it's so packed. And the other thing, which I hate to complain about, but they are constantly putting out inventory. Constantly which is a good thing, right? Except that these huge carts are blocking the aisles. There's people everywhere blocking the aisles. <laughs> it's just not relaxing. I wanted to say, when is the VIP shopping time? Because I'll come back then for all of us VIPs. <laughs> I think everybody would probably be there during the VIP time. I know, I think I'm special, but I'm not. Everybody loves TJ Maxx. I don't know what they could do to make it better because they have a lot of cashiers there. I still stand in line for like 30 minutes. <sighs> Is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. I love it. I have lost my reversible tweezers. Oh, here they are. I found them. Never mind. All right. I am going to put a little bit of um, embossing, buddy. I'm going to rub it here to get any of the static cling that I may have on this real red stylus shape banner. This one's very easy to line up because it's photopolymer. We're gonna stamp that in Versamark. Again, this is this sentiment is from Shop the Town, which is the shopping stamp set in the mini catalog that coordinates with the shopping suite, Le Shops, or Let's Go Shopping in the um, uh, annual catalog. All right, gold, embossing powder, and hit it with a heat tool. I actually ordered, um, I measured my banister in my, our new house has a stair that curves up and then it goes across, like up, you can see it has a long like railing and I measured it and it's 40 feet that I need garland for, which is a lot. Um, and so I actually got on um, the TJ Maxx website and ordered two 20 foot garlands. I don't know, it was kind of hard to tell. They don't have a lot of stuff on their website. It's not like Target. Um, so we'll see. And it wasn't that expensive, you know. I looked at Grandin Road, but they're, each of their six-foot garlands are $100. That would have cost me my children's college money <laughs> to order that. We'll see. Have you guys ever ordered anything online from TJ Maxx? I don't know. It, it was kind of 
the website wasn't the best. The picture wasn't the best. I don't know. We'll see. At least I can return it, right? Oh, thank you, Lois. 50% <laughs> off sale for all Christmas. Marion, is that why? Is that why everybody was there? I thought, what am I missing? Was it, surely it wasn't just, had just started. I mean, hasn't Christmas been 50% off? Everything at Hobby Lobby is 50% off. Did it just start maybe? Well, I should have, I should have known. All right, so I have attached layer, top layer to bottom layer with dimensionals. I'm gonna take my um, four early espresso branches and we're gonna put them down here. One, two, three. These little guys, when you cut them out, you might have, I think I was talking when I did it in the last project. Um, they stick in the die. They don't just fall out like some do. So just take your take your pick tool and poke it in the little hole. Let me show you. Oh, come on. Uh oh, things are things are getting crazy. I've got glue on my fingers. You know what happens when you get glue on your fingers? Oh my god. Stay. Um, this. If you look at your die, it has these little holes right here. And if you take your take your pick tool or the tip of your scissors and push that through there, the things will come out real easy. I meant to point that out, but I was talking about something random, probably. All right, let's add the banner. You know what? I don't. I want regular dimensionals. Do I have a sheet of non-cut dimensionals? I thought I did. Oh yeah, right here. They're buried. I'm actually going to stack two dimensionals on the back of this banner. I want it to be high, taller than the, the uh, top of the wreath because we have one dimensional under here. So if I, if I put two, then it's gonna be above the banner, okay, like that. And then my owl, I have to place him so that his head fits right there on the right side where there's a space. And if you give that time to dry, you could put your dimensional right on top of it, giving it a little extra strength. And we'll put that right there. And then get these little, where are my tweezers? Let's, I'm gonna use those tweezers for these. Um, these little retired gold leaves that I used. I put the glue on the wrong side. What am I doing? Um, I know, somebody just say, those are, those are retired. I know. I have a lot of these. I bought a bunch of them when they were on clearance rack for like three dollars got to stock up on the clearance rack all right so there we go there's our beautiful owl our tag now let me show you how totally easy it is to make the actual chocolate slider um this again traditions of saint nick's designer series paper and it's five and a half by six and a half you can get three of these out of um, a 12 by 12 sheet. And then you have this little piece left. I think it's like a square. It's too small to do this, but it's not too small for a card front. So what I did is I took it and made a card, which I'll show you in a sec. All right, put tear and tape on one long and one short side of your DSP. Take your candy bar. And if you guys can't find the Harry Potter candy bars, because it did say when it when I looked at it, it didn't say Halloween candy. But then when it came, I saw in my order history, it said Halloween candy. So I'm assuming it was just for Halloween. You can use a regular Hershey bar. All right, so you're going to wrap this around and then fold over. This is the side with the adhesive. Just fold it over like that. Okay, and then make sure you're not sticking that down here. And then just do, 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 do. If you have a crimper, do you guys remember the crimpers? Crimp the bottom. I don't have one anymore, but you can crimp it. You could also add little score lines there too. All right, so now you've got this tube. Get a small circle punch. I'm using a half inch. A three quarter inch would be fine too. There's also a circle die in this set, the moon die that you could use. Now I'm gonna take my ribbon. This real red and gold ribbon is an online exclusive. It's not in the catalog. You'll only find it in the, in the online is what I'm trying to say. 
go through the two holes and then take your candy bar and push it down like that so that the ribbon is coming out around it. And then tie your bow. And this, this ribbon has two sides. This is the back side, I think. And so I just make this ribbon do what I want it to do. Like I will pull it through upside down or whatever. Just bend it, turn it, flip it so that you can get the dots on the side that you want. Okay, you just tell it ribbon who's boss and you tell it what to do. Turn it, twist it, and then you'll get it to face <laughs> the right side for the for the loop de loops okay all right and there that's a little bit too long there's our ribbon and then all you're gonna do is attach the um see how that just slides out like that and then you're just gonna attach your christmas harry potter wreath to the front and that is it like that all right, and that's it. That's a really easy treat holder because there's no scoring, there's no cutting involved. You just put adhesive on it. Okay, so here are, so you will get three out of one sheet of cardstock and then you have one little piece left and you can just do the same thing on a card. Make, cut the DSP to four by five and a fourth and then you've got a card. Ta-da, Harry Potter. Christmas. What do you guys think? Fun, right? I really um, like this project. I think it was fun. Um, it's not necessarily Harry Potter, but I think it, um, I think it um, totally can look like Harry Potter. Let me see what I missed. Yes, you tell that ribbon who's boss, Kimberly. That's what I tell myself. Um, yeah, Cynthia, I ordered these twist things, these gold twist things um that are supposed to hold it to the banister we'll see we'll see i also have three teenagers and you know what it's funny we had a small banister at the old house and it was such a pain to put that stuff up there but they that was their favorite part of christmas decorations so i made them do it <laughs> they attached it so they can help me okay i have some bonus projects to show you this was yesterday's um really really simple um this is the aspen tree die in the annual catalog or maybe it's an online exclusive darn it did i not add that to the supply list either oh no that's yesterday's project not today i was thinking i didn't look that up yesterday so it is linked in yesterday's blog post um there's no pdf but there is a, a link for you to click to take you to show you that that die this is um, a more masculine project that you will see on monday on my blog, Pretty Peacock, Copper Clay, beautiful embossed um, owl. Now, um, if you're in my new color club, these were the projects we used, we made when we did Misty Moonlight and Pecan Pie. We used the One Horse Open Sleigh paper, designer series paper, um, for that snowy background. Doesn't that look good with the owl? I thought it did, and that we used the, the branches to cut out the DS, the wood print DSP. And then this is a window sheet card. So when you open it, he's flying. You can see the woods behind him like that. Just cut a window sheet, put it right there. That's all you have to do. Um, and then here's some swap cards that I got. This is from Karen. This is using that shiny snow paper that I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> I'm so helpful. That shiny snow paper, I don't know what it's called. Um, but very pretty, and I like how she stamped that over the little tree. And then this one is from Debbie, who's on my team. This was our team swap, and it is really cool. Look at that. Look how she did like a separated, and then the sentiment is behind it. Really pretty. And that is that, um, what is that paper called, you guys? It's the pottery paper. I can't remember what it's made. Marvelous? No, that's the other paper. I don't know. It's in the annual catalog, but very pretty. Okay, so that is it, you guys. That is it for me today. There will be no Facebook Friday next week. It is Thanksgiving week. We will be putting up our Christmas tree next Friday. 
I hope you guys have time for family. I'll be back in two weeks with, um, I, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to sit down and try to plan out. Do we have a week? We do have a whole week after Thanksgiving. Um, so December 1st, I will probably be using the sending cheer bundle. But as far as my 12 days of Christmas, I'm going to do that too in some form. I just don't know yet. So stay tuned for those details week after Thanksgiving. Um, anyway, if you want these projects for free, you can get them by placing an order between now and Monday at midnight. Minimum $35 using this host code. You can order anything you want if you already have the OWL bundle, but you really want the make and takes. Order cardstock, order another stamp set. I don't care. You can order anything you want. Um, but I will look, everybody who uses the host code will get a project kit in the mail and it'll ship later than normal because of the holiday. All right. I think that's it. You guys, I will update the video with links for that last chance list and everything else that you need to know. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you in two weeks. Wow. Bye guys.